Ahoy, and welcome to my playthrough of Super Max Beyond the Alley of Dolls. I can't believe you fired Sal! Of course I did, you conniving banshee! I can't have my food prepared by a ten-stone cockroach! Ugh. We're closed. closed! You better tell them that! what horrible truths lurk behind the tinted windows of our neighbors' souls. Our intrepid heroes certainly don't. They're just relieved to find a safe harbor from the half-naked horde that has pursued them since their stirring defeat of the mad pharaoh Samun Mak. But soon, you and the freelance police will be forced to throw open the creaking shutters and clumsily draw back the moldy curtains to reveal the awful secrets that lie beyond the Alley of the Dolls. So, after I put Max's brain back in his body, we were suddenly beset by scads of brain-dead Samuelacra. I prefer doggle-gangers! We thought all they wanted was that spooky toy box, but after they yanked it away, they turned their attention on us. <laughs> Actually, I think they were mostly interested in me. No? No? We ran for the DeSoto, but it had been surrounded by a gang of me's. So naturally, you came here. Yeah, better to stock up on canned foods and ammo for the upcoming zombie Sam Armageddon. I don't think they're zombies, Max. Zombies, clones, robots, who cares? Just as long as I get the shakes! Looks like it's time to boil the haggis. These barrels would make great door jams, or weapons if they weren't bolted to the floor. Hey, Donkey Wong, wanna pitch in and help us repel the hordes? No, no, no. <laughs> what happened to General Skunkabe? Sam happened! According to Max, I beat the bananas out of him in an alternate reality, which has left him a humiliated husk of a man, or ape. Don't hurt me. 
course, being chased by hundreds of half-dressed versions of the new alpha male in town can't be helping either. Uh, hey, Skunk Ape, any chance of you moving out of the way so I can open that freezer? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, what a negative Nelly! Stinky. Oh, good. It's the Harbinger of Doom. I'm sorry I broke your boyfriend. Boyfriend? What boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. You know, General Skunky. You two seemed to be getting along pretty well before Max and I kicked him into the penal zone. Skun Kape? He's not my boyfriend. I mean, just look at him. What do you think the deal is with all these dangerously handsome Samuel Acker? Doppelgangers. Hmm, I guess clones. Really? Or maybe parallel universe commandos, or pastry golems, or maybe I don't really care since it's not really my job to figure this kind of thing out. I got a wacky idea. Why don't you help us fight off the Sams? Your personality alone could probably take out a dozen of them in one blow. For your information, I'm trying to text the authorities for some help. Right. Any luck texting the authorities? None yet, but I'll be sure to let you know if I make a breakthrough. You do that. I see that you and Grandpa Stinky have reached the plate-throwing phase of your relationship. Oh, that? <laughs> that was nothing. Grandpa just fired my cell, uh, chef, without consulting me first. I was slightly annoyed. Who wouldn't be? But you know what they say, there's nothing like being attacked by an army of portly abominations to give you a sense of perspective. Do people really say that? Why did Grandpa fire Sal anyway? That's a private matter between me and Grandpa, for the moment. Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. Max, I... No time for clue-laden banter now, Sam. If we're gonna get out of this alive, I've got no choice but to repeatedly blow your brains out with bullets! Grip a stinky? Do you mind? You're spoiling my aim. Need any help? Nah, I've been dreaming about this day for years. Oh, right in the moose. What do you think this unprecedented wave of me is all about? Who cares? I haven't had this much fun in years. We couldn't help but notice that Girl Stinky started flinging plates at your head. What did she think I was going to do when I discovered that she'd hired a giant cockroach to run my beautiful kitchen? Well, your tolerance for cockroaches is well known, so I'm sure she probably thought... Tiny cockroaches! As customers, not six and a half foot tall monstrosities lumbering about my kitchen, dipping their mandibles in the mayonnaise, and spreading their disease on my crudités. Crudités? Where? And what are those? Mark my words, Ken or no Ken, that woman's up to no good. I'll just get back to finding a way out of this mess. Take your time. I'm having a ball. Mr. S is... Sometimes I wish your future visions were a little more expansive, Max. No. No more Sams. No more Sams! Ooh! I've got to go try this puppy out on some doggies. No, 
know, for a horrific siege, I find myself curiously at peace. Ha! Won't try that again, will you? Maybe we can turn this horrific siege into some sort of half-assed, rhythm-based minigame. We repeat, half-naked, portly dog-like creatures are running amok. Details at this time remain sketchy, but we have numerous reports that the Zoptic canines are breaking into people's houses and stealing their children's toys. Well, that'll put some kids in therapy, right, Chet? No! Whoa, he's off, big fella. I'm pretty upset about the Zoptic crack, too, but that's no reason to go, Abe. Smooth, Sam. Infernal city stripped me of my power and my dignity, but I'll be a Polarian baboots before I let them have the last of my toys! Hey, the monkey's gonna do a card trick! I don't think so, Max. Those look like the mind-reading cards we saw in that chilling vision of the future that never happened. Oh, yeah! Jimmy! Give them to you? Hardly. With these cards, I will escape this gorilla forsaken rock blast it from orbit, and then move on toys. to conquer the rest of the entire galaxy! Toys! Toys! No, toys! No. No. Wow, that was horrible. Maybe we should have done something. Ah, he'll be okay. Now let's start reading some minds so we can get out of this mess. Fudgy Freeze, the greatest combination of ice cream fudge and carob falls this side of the Mississippi. Must resist fudge. Um, nom, 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 nom. Sam? Sorry, Max. You know how I get whenever I get a Fudgy Freeze in my hand. Look at all that beautiful dog meat. I'll be selling my special sip on stew for months. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. What? All this shooting's making me hungry. Can you read my mind? Do you know all the things I'm thinking of? When no one's looking, I'll ditch these losers through my secret tunnel. Stinky has a secret tunnel? <laughs> when did that happen? Don't you remember, Max? The secret tunnel under that table over there. Oh, yeah. Now, where's that button? Anyone got some darts? I want to try something. It's the button that opens the secret tunnel into the sewers. Let's talkie more pressy, Sam! I've just about run out of amusing ways to shoot you in the face! Open hickory. Hey, Stinkies! What happened to your secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? I have no idea what you're talking about. Wilfred and Brimley aren't looking. I'll escape through my backup tunnel. A backup tunnel? Ingenious. Really? I was gonna go with paranoid or maybe silly. <laughs> Stinky? What? Okay, Stinky. Where's your backup secret tunnel? What? You heard me. The backup tunnel. I don't know anything about a backup tunnel. Come on, Stinky. Tell us where your backup tunnel is before Max runs out of bullets. I never run out of bullets! I told you I don't know anything about a tunnel. Why do you keep looking over there? Looking over where? Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. 
I don't know how Blah Blah and Buzz Buzz found out about my backup tunnel, but they'll never figure out that setting the toaster to incinerate will open it. <laughs> Those cards have peeled open Stinky's mind like a snarky, lazy onion. Incinerate, eh? Yikes! Guess we'll have to do something about those Sam arms. Shoot! Individually wrapped balls of peanut butter? Aye! Ever since Mrs. Dulaki went up like a pufferfish, my namby-pamby malpractice attorneys have forced me to dole out my peanut butter in strictly controlled portions. I didn't even know diners could have malpractice attorneys. Fuck ye, infernal beastie! It's got peanut butter dog mouth. I hate it when I do that. I think I've got enough peanut butter right now. Must control fudge. You guys love these as much as I do. What in the name of Betty Crocker's knickers have you been doing to my diner? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had just about all I can stand, you indolent waste of DNA! Say, you two wouldn't mind holding the fort while we go check out Stinky Secret Passage, would you? Indolent? Who do you think keeps this diner afloat, old man? Great, thanks. I sure hope the Stinkies are able to work out their issues. Not me. Watching them argue is like dinner theater, only without the... Sweet mother of Watson and Crick gallivanting with Rosalind Franklin on a spiral staircase. Max? Yeah? I think we found the source of the Samulacra. Doggle-gangers. Whatever. What the heck is Girl Stinky doing down here? strange.
Max, look. Bosco Tech Clone Pod. This clone pod was manufactured by Mama Bosco. You probably should have guessed by the hot pants they're wearing. Mama sure does love a nicely turned Sam Gam. If Mama Bosco's the one controlling these clones, she's got a lot of explaining to do. Property of Hoover Dam. The ghost of J. Edgar Hoover is raising an unholy army of sexually provocative Sam clones! Good theory. Wrong Hoover. Clone cooker DNA input receptacle. Whoa! Yikes! Looks like our mysterious clone master doesn't want anyone messing with their cloning recipe. Cloning facility status. Huh. You'd think a multi-bazillion dollar facility like this could afford something a little snazzier than a chintzy scrolly sign. Nice kitchenette. You gotta love a mastermind who keeps the coffee flowing. What is it? A fog machine? A rubber costume? Some more AV equipment like we found back in the subway? Freaky. Anything useful? Nope. Wonder what's down this tunnel. There's only five or six ways to find out. Well, let's take the one that doesn't involve explosives or time travel. Spoil sport. Well, here we are, back in the Museum of Mostly Natural History. And look, Paperweight's office. Maybe he can tell us what's going on with all these Sams. Hmm, a trash can. My psychic clue sense is tingling. You know I can't stand looking at you when you dig through garbage. No time to indulge your delicate sensibilities, Sam. Look! What is it? Hey, 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 I just find the clues. And besides, I seem to have temporarily lost my ability to read. A disturbing side effect of your psychic abilities? Nah, I just can't be bothered. It's a letter from our old pal Sal, resigning from his job at the museum. Should a six-foot-tall cockroach really be putting himself out on the job market in this economy? Maybe we should ask him. He left a forwarding number. Sweet! It's a standard security panel, tricked out with hieroglyphics instead of numbers. I wonder what the key code is. Aha! Rats! I thought for sure it would spell out King Butt. I think Monsieur Paperweight's key code is gonna be a little more sophisticated than that, Max. You mean more like Emperor Gluteus Maximus? No, I mean more like something we'll never, ever guess. Ever. Sal. And a bunch of doppelgangers. Don't those Sam show more respect for our car than we do. Well, that was awfully convenient. Look, Max, it's our old friend, Charlie Hotep. Get it away! Get it away! Come on, Max. He'll give you cool ventriloquism powers, just like your great-grandpa Maximus had in olden times. Fine. I'll do it for the powers. But for the record, I want to make it clear that I find Charlie Hotep, like all ventriloquist dummies, completely creepy and disgusting. 
So are you, but you don't see me getting skittish about it. Corpulent dogmen swarm city. Corpulence? The nerve! I know. Doey would have allowed them to use a larger typeface and been alliterative to boot. Toys? Toys? Toys! Uh, shoot or run? Let's run. Toys! 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 Yikes! Toys. Well, that was a harrowing chase down the clown-infested streets of the city. And the clowns were pretty bad, too. At least we finally lost them. It's a good thing the city defiantly keeps a few of these antiques around, so that people can anonymously make crank calls and threaten public officials. Stacking some crates up, uh, dooby dooby doo. He really is a simple guy, isn't he? Keep your distance, Max. We don't want those toy sniffing Samulacarins coming after us. Toys, toys, toys. Ow! These handsome devils are all sharing the same mind. Amazing. Amazing for you, but my nasal passages are about to be visited by Uncle Flo. Father, will you please tell this booze-soaked gumshoe to get out of our diner? Just answer the man's questions, so I can get on with my pathetic excuse for a life. Hey, Flint, what's shaking? Hiya, boys. Just putting the finishing touches on this whole girl stinky caper. Really? Well, no. But Grandpa Stinky's gonna stop paying me if I don't wrap this case up tonight. So I'm kind of winging it here. Had you on retainer for months, and you didn't even know she'd installed nay one, but two secret tunnels under my diner! Mind if we kibitz in your interrogation? Be my guest, boys. I'm hitting a brick wall with Miss Motormouth here. See? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah! Who's this Mr. S-Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Stinky's words dug into my heart like a hot shovel through a tub of warm butter, sprinkled with bacon bits and... Um, Stinky didn't say anything, Sam. See what I'm working with here? Maybe she doesn't know how these hard-boiled interrogations are supposed to work. I think you're right, Max. Let's show her how it's done. I'll be Flint, and you'll be Stinky. Fine, but if I get typecast, you're getting a nasty call from my agent. All right, sister. What's the deal with all your secret tunnels? Secret tunnels? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't give me none of that guff, you dizzy dame. Ooh, nice one. I, I mean, all right, all right. I'll tell you all about the cloning facility at the end of my secret tunnel. Cloning facility? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. That's his line. Come on, Stinky. Don't pretend you don't know anything about the massive Sam cooking machines we found at the end of your secret tunnel. Get out of my way! Not so fast, Dollface. You're not going anywhere until you answer some questions. Fine. Fire away. Anything to get me out of this madhouse. Okay, then. From the top. Who's this Mr. S mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Mr. S is Sam. We were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. What 
What the what now? You heard me. Mr. S is Sam. The two of us were planning Grandpa's stinky surprise birthday party. Uh. You lousy liar. My birthday isn't for another five months. That's why it was going to be such a surprise. Is this true, Sam? Uh, it, it sure is. She'd already ordered your favorite cake. I did. Oh, I mean, that's right. I did. A cake, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you and Sam can cough up my favorite cake, I'll send Mr. Paper home. Until then, you're not going anywhere, granddaughter. I can't believe you and Stinky were planning a party and you didn't ask me to help. I love licking envelopes and cooking up embarrassing party games. Don't be a dolt, Max. This whole party thing is just another brick in Stinky's mountain of lies. But if we cover for her, maybe Flint will let her go, and she can lead us to her mysterious Mr. S and the mastermind behind these rakishly handsome Sam clones. Sounds convoluted and absurd. I like it. All we have to do now is find Grandpa Stinky's favorite cake. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.